Hey, what's up world? It's Bobby Pin back with another artist spotlight like I never left, all right? Tonight is definitely a special one. We've got my homeboy, my friend, my own DMV brother, Raheem Devon. He's gonna be checking in to talk with us today about his seventh, oh, excuse me, his eighth studio album, What a Time to Be in Love. As always, if you're watching me live, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time out to join me. I would also ask that if you see that buy a badge button at the bottom of the screen, feel free to tap it and support me. It really will go a long way. In fact, Instagram is matching any and all badge purchases. So if you purchase a badge, I actually get two and it really helps. Furthermore, don't be stingy. Y'all know I'm gonna get Raheem to sing. I always get my artists to sing. So go ahead and share this live with a friend. Tell somebody right now to join you and watch this with you. Furthermore, if you're just catching up on this series, my Celebrity Artist Spotlight series, there's an entire playlist of these right here on IGTV. So head on over to that, catch up, watch Donnell Jones, watch me talk to Nikki Gilbert, watch Vivian Green sing the song that she wrote when she was 11. I do this every single week. So make sure you check that out here or head over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash the bobby pin. Um, in the meantime, we are waiting for our guest of honor to join. And as soon as I was fixing my mouth to say that, I see he popped in the room. Um, so we about to get this thing started. So like I said, if you're a fan of the love king of R&B, um, then you probably know a friend who is too. Share this live right now. We're bringing up Raheem right now. All right. I see Love Queen Nation in the building. How y'all feeling? Hey, ladies. <laughs> there he is. Oh, we, oh what's hi, up? Hi. Hello. <laughs> what's going on? How are you, Raheem? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm excellent, King. It's always a pleasure to connect with you. Eight albums deep, and we still at this thing. <laughs> Yeah, eight albums deep. We still at it. I'm proud of you and I'm proud of me. We doing our thing right now. Ditto, ditto. So talk to me. Uh, what a time to be in love. It's a collaborative project with you and the colleagues. I was waiting for this album to come. I knew it was coming because y'all just keep making hit after hit. So I was like, when are we going to get a full project? So talk to me about how this came about a little bit. Um, It, it, it started with a conversation and me expressing to KP that I, 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 you know, album eight is about reinvention for me. You know what I mean? And when you get to making, you know, album number five, six, seven, eight, I, I used to often say in interviews that I think that no artist is truly defined until their fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth album. You know what I mean? It really, at that point, you 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 only hear one or two conversations. Man, money keep doing the same stuff. He fell off or she fell off or I ain't I ain't buying it. It's not authentic or it sounds like it sounds too much like this or why are they trying to be the next Chris Brown when they should be being being themselves? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I I hear it all. You know what I mean? So, um for me, um making this making this album was about making a statement um in particular like and you know when you talk you know there's many conversations that happen when it comes 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 to you know discussions of r and b and and soul music and great quality of music and um sometimes my name's in the conversation and sometimes it's not you know what I'm saying when some people feel like it should be, but I think that this this project really represents. Um, the culture of the R&B and soul music that people love and have been missing. You know what I mean? And 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 I think it more importantly it speaks to the it speaks to the fact that it talks about staying power. You know, for me as an artist, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm proud about I'm proud of that, especially in this in this in this day and time and the climate of music and 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 everything that we have going on. You know, the digital world and you know um, you know it, it's it's once I figure it out it be on and popping and once again I figured it out, you know what I'm saying? I figured out need what what needs to happen, you know, um sonically, you know, as far as like I feel like for my brand what people want from me and um and people the more people just want to hear in general and then also um on the business side, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're not on the right if you're not right on the play if you're not on the right playlist and, and, and stuff like that, 
Like, you know, it's it's sink or swim right now. It's a it's a different it's a different time for music, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm constantly I'm getting older as an artist, but I'm getting better as an artist. So, you know, the goal yeah. for me, the biggest challenge for me always is um either somebody not knowing who I am, which is a which is a real thing. I never assume somebody knows who Raheem Devon is. That's just that's just one. So I always approach it from that mindset. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I, I, but I had to, I mean, but that's the reality. Everybody don't know who I am. Everybody doesn't know who, who, I mean, you can pull any name out of the hat. Out the hat. I, if you, you remember that, I don't know if you ever saw that clip on social media where like the guy asked Jay-Z who he is. Have you seen that? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's, I don't he's, think I know exactly which one you're talking about. He's but. the blue eyed man. I think they're like they're like in Paris or something or somewhere maybe. And the, and the guy says like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "Who are you?" <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like so I so um, you know, and that's not to that's that's not to say. I mean, it, it, the the flip side of it is that I always know who I am. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, and I think that that's what's oh, that's what that 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 gives me the staying power. That gives me the reassurance. That gives me the humility. That gives me it keeps everything intact that needs to happen. Um, so that creatively, when I step in that studio, um, and and the product come out, it feels different. You know what I'm saying? It feels nostalgic. Um, it feels consistent. You know what I mean? And 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 these are the things that I strive. Um, to be, and I feel like I'm in a great space creatively, you know, right now for that, you know? For sure. No, I, I fully agree. I'm listening to the full body of the project. First of all, let me take a second to thank Bab underscore twin two for purchasing a badge tonight. I see you, Queen. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, no, I'm listening to the project all the way through, and I'm like, this dude consistently raises our consciousness. We got cautious tracks like what's going on um you've got sound clips from tamika mallory speaking you've got the poet that's narrating the entire thing but then you also you know take us to the bedroom and you you give us the songs that we can enjoy with our partners with our lovers and what have you so um salute to you for always finding that balance and i just want to know like why is that so important to you to maintain that we call you the love king of r b but it's not just about romance you love the community you love black people so talk to me about that <laughs> It, people are saying that I'm blurry, and I want to give you the best interview possible. So, um, before we go any further and I answer that question, we can probably only do one or two things. You want to log off and log back on? You want to? How you want to approach it? Um, can I X you out and maybe bring you back? You think that That's, might help? Yeah, I mean, I just don't want All you right, to lose. I, sorry. I just don't want you to lose the content you already got. You know what I mean? And Ditto. I mean, me. so again, we can definitely, if I just X you out, then I'll keep going and it'll just be okay. a little pause in it. And maybe okay. we can make sure that everything is connected right. If that okay. doesn't work, then listen, we'll, I'll leave this one up. I can download it, splice it together. Listen, it's tricks. There's ways to do this. No worries. <laughs> that's why I didn't, that's why I didn't panic. You know what I mean? So, so X me out. And then and then and then, and then uh, we can we can we can try it again. I want to just make sure that it's people. I see people saying that it's blurry and I, yeah, we're you know, trying to see you. You a little fuzzy, so yeah, let's right, try cool. that. Let's... And again, if you come back and it still doesn't work, then we can start over completely. But keep this one up. Okay, okay sounds good. All right, hang tight, fans. I promise he's going to be right back. Thank you guys for your patience as we work through this. You know how it goes. We got this. COVID life popping, um, but that's how much, you know, of a professional he is. He wants this to be right so that we all enjoy the interview. So hang tight. Like I said, he's going to come right back. Brooklyn baby Bree said we got to see that smile. Exactly. <laughs> Shout out to my DMV gang up in here. I see uh, Ian, I can. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Mika Watkins, my boo, you complimenting me on my little look tonight. Thank you. <laughs> and again, thank you to everybody who has purchased a badge. I promise you, it really does go a long way. So thank you, everybody who is sending these hearts. I see you. Thank you. If you have shared this live with somebody, okay, I really thank you. <laughs> yes, queens, I see y'all. I see y'all in here showing love. Let's see if we can get Raheem back.
I'm great, Christina. Oh, my smile is amazing. Thank you, Brooklyn Baby Green. <laughs> We're loading Raheem back up. Oh, thank you, Ian. Ian bought a badge. <laughs> I appreciate that. Hang tight, y'all, because, you know, we didn't even get them to sing yet. So we definitely need that to be crystal clear. <laughs> Yes, Lady Luck DC, you are a real one. Thank you so much, Boo. She said she shared and got some folks on. I know you did, Boo. I appreciate that. Melinda Renee Marshall, you brought a badge. Thank you so much, Queen. I appreciate that. I'm still getting this waiting sign, guys. I don't know if you can see Raheem, but I can't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see. Let's try it this way. All right, here he comes. There we go. Okay, is that better? I'm praying that that's better. I think we might be a little bit better. I don't know, Raheem. It's still a little fuzzy. God damn it. <laughs> That I ain't trying to be funny. I'm not coming for you. Are you on Wi-Fi? I, I'm definitely on Wi-Fi. It's, it's, I just did another interview, and it's weird. It's like out the blue. It's like, you know, but I'm going to just channel some positive energy right now. How is it How is it right now for you? Siobhan says it's clear. So sometimes what, the, what they see is not what I see. So <laughs> Okay. I don't know, guys. They they look a little half and half. They like it's it's clear it is not. Tell them to take it off Wi Fi. Okay, let's see if that works. No, it, I absolutely can't do that. Okay. Yeah. They said better than before. Okay. I'm kind. Of, you're the performer, so you tell me. I'm kind of awesome. The show must go on type of energy, but well, let's get it. I mean, let's get it. <laughs> let's get it. All right. So, matter of fact, instead of answering that question right now. Why don't you give us a little a little tune? I don't know if I want you to do uh, Mr. Midnight or if you got another song that's on your spirit, but, you know, I got to ask you to, to do a little number for us. Give um, the energy back there. Man, um... They keep saying it's blurry. <laughs> They said your voice is clear. That's all they care about. That's crazy. Well, I mean, I'm sure you'll figure out a way if we need to do this again or, you know, we'll figure it out. I just, again, I just want to give you the best interview po po uh, possible. Um, with that being said, you said you said you want something from the new album. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to look. Oh. Twilight, some special occasions, some Mr. Midnight. I don't know. You got, we got options. Bring it out the shower. In the midnight hour, yeah, yeah. After 12, when you find yourself, when you're in need of sexual help, I'll be there pronto. Just leave the door unlocked, baby. Pour that wine and light that J. Tonight, I need your hair like Marvin Gaye. Help me up my drawers while you're climbing the walls. When you need a sound, oh, baby, encore and applaud. Let me be your Mr. Midnight. In the midnight hour, just call me up and I'll satisfy you till tomorrow. Yes, this whole serenade. I ain't gonna lie, I've been waiting all week. I was like, oh, I gotta make him sing something for me. Thank you, that was fire. And I'm looking at all the hearts going crazy. I think the ladies love their Raheem. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. All love, it's all love. Thank you, Unique Queen Point dot six. Thank you so much for purchasing a badge. All right, so back to that question I asked. You consistently give us this balance between conscious music, um, which is still a form of love, as well as the romantic serenades that you also give us. So why is it so important for you to maintain that throughout your career? I mean, those are the elements that 
that create life, you <laughs> life form. You know what I mean? Um, it's it it's who we are as people. You know, what I'm saying? intimacy, sex, um, sexuality, sensuality. You know what I mean? Um, consciousness. You know, the spirit, vibration. We just all energy. It's all energy anyway. You know what I mean? Um, but I, but I, but I, I just, I, I always want the R and B. I want the, I want the soulful R and B to feel like, um, very like, big and wide when it's coming to speakers. You know what I mean? And 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 very um, nostalgic. You know what I mean? Um, if there was a category for what I do, it probably would be, I would call it, euphoric soul and R and B. Mm -hmm. That's a big word, euphoric, like. That's not just feel good, but you're saying you are next level. <laughs> I mean, I feel that's a, that I, I I feel that way. I feel I feel it's been that way for some time, um, and I understand that everything ain't for everybody. So if, if it's not if it's not your cup of tea, cool. But if it is, you know, sip sip slow, enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and 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 and, and get full, get full and clean off of it is what I say. I mean, like, that's my vibe right now. Get full of that. Well, I know I do, because I be running it up. Like, I just put your albums on repeat and let that thing keep going. <laughs> you got 14 tracks on this one, so you didn't skimp us at all. This is a nice, hearty little meal. <laughs> dope, 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 dope. So, when we talk about a time to be in love, I don't know why I'm, like, into astrology right now, but I just feel like I want to ask you, I've had the opportunity to to be involved with a couple of tourist men, and I promise, like, I really think that they're superior, like, lovers. What do you think it is that makes tourists so lit when it comes to love? Because I'm also a tourist woman, you know what I mean? So hey, I think we are the best when it comes to, our, to that. <laughs> we're, 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 because we're natural givers, you know what I'm saying? Like, we like to, we, we, we aim to please. You know, and we're like we're we're very hard workers. Um, we're very competitive. You know what I'm saying? And um, in some cases, like territorial. You know, um, not so much jealous, but just like territorial. You know what I mean? Uh, but we, you know, I think I said it like on I said it on a song, "Breathe Once Upon a Time." Like we're patient. You know what I'm saying? And mindful. You know. Um, I'm, I'm me, me personally. I'm speaking for me though. Like I can't speak for every. You know, I think I think um, it's a lot. It's a lot of truth in zodiac um, signs and 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 um, different. You know, <laughs> but I feel like also persons. You know, somebody. If you, you can be a tourist, but if you're a piece of shit, you shit. Like it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like sure. you know what I mean? If you if you're trying to vibrate higher, then you're vibrating higher. If you you know. Um, so, um, well, we're all flawed in some form or fashion, you know what I mean? It's about being human. Um, but, yeah, that for me, I think that that's the best way to kind of define, you know, us in the bedroom, though. Like, you know, creative, um, passionate, you know, probably more givers than than a taker from the experience, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Would you say, in your opinion, from your experience, is Taurus the best, or have like, is there another sign that you might be like, I don't know, <laughs> they, they up there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't Let me know. Try to get in trouble. <laughs> I, it's just I just go off energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's off energy. I don't I don't want to limit it to limit it to just that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a type, but it's not. You don't have to be a specific sign or a specific height requirement or a specific shade, you know what I'm saying? Or, um, you know, you could be petite or plus size. Like, my type is more, like, is more of a conversation and pheromone and, like, you know what I'm saying? You just, you, I know when I know, you know what I'm saying? It's an energy. It, my type is, is, it deals with energy. Like, that, that, that's, I, that's what I... Right now. <laughs> Oh my! That's what I've discovered about myself. Anyway, it's an energy, it's a vibration. You know what I mean? Um, versus like, hey, you know, I only talk. You got some. You got some men that only um, they only deal with. You know, they only want a high skin woman. Or you have some people that are only just into chocolate women. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so it's um, yeah, that's 
that's how I would define it. So there is a sign that if she tells you she's at blank, you gonna run for the hills? Cause I tell you, Scorpio, you told me you're a Scorpio, I'm gone. Yeah, I don't even there, need to hear nothing past that. <laughs> I, 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 I think I, I, I stay away from at this point, but when a, I don't you know, I don't want anybody to think I'm taking shots, you know what I'm saying? And I think like at Fair the end enough. of the day, I, I think that everybody deserves a chance to X themselves out of the, the situation. You know what I mean? Fair enough. <laughs> Somebody said, run girl. Exactly. I'm gone. I'm out. <laughs> um, so talk to me more. It's holiday season. You are known for your Love Life Foundation. You're always doing amazing work in the community, whether it's uh, here in the DMV or in New York or wherever else uh, you're, you're blessed to touch. Uh, what do you have coming up? Any drives? Any giveaways? We did a, we did a turkey drive yesterday in, in conjunction with my girl Poet, um, you know, the virtual um, personality out there representing for um, WPGC 95.5. Hey, Poet. And then, no, in conjunction with Poet, 95.5, and Mark This Table, and my foundation, the Love Life Foundation, um, gave out, um, the team gave out over 600, 700 turkeys yesterday. Yeah. And um, and I also uh, did some did some other things. I don't always talk about what I do, you know what I'm saying? But I, de I definitely, I, I supported some other organizations in the city, too, um, you know, yesterday between you know within the last 48 hours in terms of like you know helping lighten the load they needed supplies you know what i mean so we went and took that that good old costco's card out and you know hit hit them up and got got the things that were needed it's a lot of people um i just i just saw uh i just saw or either heard on the news um where i believe it's like five million people like that were kind of like have been serviced uh, food and stuff like that, turkeys and things like that. Easy, um, you know, the country, um, you know, prior to, you know, Thanksgiving is on Thursday. So, yeah. you know, to do our part. You know, if you're in position, do your part. Um, you got a roof over your head and, you know, your 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 bills pay for this month and you still have a, you still have a job. Like, like really be thankful because we, you know, we yeah. ain't, we ain't, I'm praying president of the times right now for sure and i i know that you're very humble about that as you should be you just do the work it's not about the accolades for you but i definitely wanted to take that moment to allow other people to know people who might not be familiar that again it's not just what you're saying in the music but you actually put the action behind it and we have a lot of celebrities and notable figures who get this platform we the fans build them up and they don't really take the opportunity to give back to others so again i just wanted to shine that light on you I always appreciate that about you. I think that's something that makes you so special, so unique, and has everything to do with your staying power and, and the respect and love that you get um, from the industry, from your peers. You know, people really, like, bang with you and respect, respect you. Absolutely. I, I, I think I think I'm thankful for that, you know. I'm thankful for the, you know, um, just trying to pay it pay it forward, as they say, um, continuous the goal, um, you know, with the foundation work that we do with my organization, the Love Life Foundation. For sure. Um, speaking of paying it forward, let's talk about this poet that kind of weaves your entire album, What a Time to Be in Love Together. Uh, Ra, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm about to say her name wrong. Raquel, yeah, so her, so, yeah, so yeah. I, um, Raquel, Raquel Brown, aka Ra Brown. Um, I've known Raquel pretty much my whole career, I guess you could say. You know, uh, before the world knew my name, you know, I knew Raquel's name, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she was um, a poet, often a host at a spot called Bar None. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, so I basically just took it back to my Bar None days. I, I'm, I've i been doing that as of late. Like, um, and, and my apologies to her. They butchered, you know, when when, when we when we doing these albums, things are encoded and somebody dropped the ball and mis, misspelled her name um, and it snuck past us, so. Um, it's actually her actual artist name is Rob Brown. Um, he's a really she originally from Philly. Um, she, went to high, she went to school with Jill Scott. You know what I'm saying? Um, wow. She, she's super dope. She does uh, a lot of voiceover work and 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 there's a you know behind the scenes doing a lot of uh, 
um, things in the community as well. She teaches at, at and goes, you know, she at the gym, you know what I'm saying, uh, lo here locally, um, as well as, you know, writes, um, writes scripts and does a lot of voiceover work. She was one of the, she was one of the voices that helped, you know, doing, doing voiceovers that help support, you know, uh, the Biden uh, campaign, you know oh, what wow. I mean? As well. so she's, she's, she's dope. Um, we actually have this idea that I have is very risque. It's like a erotic audio songbook that I'm, that I'm, that I'm, that I'm working on. I've been working on it. Um, it's, it's I... super, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's super racy. It's definitely like Love King After Dark vibes. You know what I'm saying? And, um, <laughs> and, We've been doing it as a, as a, I guess you could kind of say like a group. And, you know, so it has spoken word all through it. And um, so I figured, you know, I just, it wasn't even something that was kind of planned that she would be throughout the entire project. It just happened that way. I just move off spirit and um, she's dope. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's, but it's a lot of dope poets and talent and, and, and whatnot, you know, um, in the area and, you know what I mean? But I, I, me, me myself, I always like to work with the people who just I'm connected to spiritually. Like, we always clicked or they always were supportive or, you know, or I feel like, yo, yo let me, let me, not to, not to, not to say she ain't popping, but like, you know, let me, let me, let me, let me pull her, let me just come on, let's go this way real quick so people know who you are and what you, and what you do, you know? And, yeah. Uh, I did that a few years yeah. back with my um, when we revamped, you know, the crossroads, um, um, you know, and put that album out in 2017. I'm laughing at the comments. Um, <laughs> Lady Luck DC said your erotic sound book is gonna be just nasty, okay? And Miss Nikki Neal said we like it extra nasty. So look at your fans. <laughs> yeah, there it is. And there it is. Um, you about to bring those tweets to life, huh? <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, definitely, you know, it's it's it's. I don't like the word nasty. I like the word. Um, I like the. I don't. I don't like to describe my music as nasty. I I like to describe it as erotic. I like to describe it as. Um, if there was a category that would be for my, you know, the category for my music, you know, um, my. Cause people often say, "Man, you in your own, you in your own lane." What you call your, you know, what you call your R and B style? I call it it's it's euphoric, it's euphoric soul and R and B. Period. So, I can't wait to hear what that project sounds like. Exactly. Um, Ra was definitely the perfect pick for that because she was able to flow with you again on the political tip, and then she got romantic and she got a little sexual as well. So. Definitely looking forward to that. And if you would need any extra poets, you know what I mean? I'm kind of crazy with the pen game, but I'm going to just go ahead and leave that, leave that right there. <laughs> um, it is. What's next, Raheem? I know it's probably unfair to ask that, but I know you're always working. You just dropped this project, so I always feel bad when I ask artists, like, what's next? But I know you got something up the sleeve. Uh, no, nah, it's never, it's never, it's always something next. It's always more, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what it's about, too. It's like, Album number eight is just really, you know, letting folks know it's always more, it's always more. Like, I'm getting better at what I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm locked in, I'm focused. And um, yeah, so so for me, um, it's really finding a home for some of the artists that I'm working with right now. Um, you know, that's just a bit, which is, you know, COVID kind of threw a lot of things off on the business, on the business tip, but it, it closed a lot of doors, but actually, a lot of doors too so you know i'm looking forward to to to, to figuring out um you know vamping up uh ramping up um uh, for b-boy souls project you know what i'm saying um yazara has got some stuff coming who's you know she's not necessarily he's, he's like signed to me but like you know um that's she's a strong ally and we just support each other you know she's, she's down with the crew um shout out to brendan mckinney out of houston Who's probably crazy, and we going back in to kind of that go. It's 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 some cool things coming down the cool things coming down the pipeline. I'm also um I got there's a project I'm wrapping up with a producer from Detroit. I can't say who it is just yet, but wrapping that up. So you know I've been doing like 
projects with, with producers. Um, I just got off the phone with Kenny Dope. Um, yes. He was the Love and War Masterpiece album. Um, we, 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 I don't want to say it just yet, but it's some big <laughs> coming. Um, All of this good stuff is on the way, y'all. Do y'all hear this? Yeah, with me and him. It's something coming with me and him um, that we're working on uh, with it, with an imprint from abroad. You know what I'm saying? That okay. that that is that is you know. So that's you know when I get with Kenny, it's more on a on a world stage, on a global stage. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, these are all things it's still in manifestation, but I just know they're gonna happen. Like it's already happening. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm good. Like I'm good. You know, just just working, man. Just you know, um, riding this COVID thing out. Um, definitely preparing for some some online concert experiences that yes, I think people... you were one of the first artists I saw figure out how to how to do that so why don't you talk about yeah. that a little bit how you've been able to fly on these different platforms and like still give us shows um man you know people babies got to eat people need things you know what I'm saying like you know it's a lot of people that that um that depend on me, but most of most most importantly, I depend on me. So, um, you got to keep it moving. You got to figure it out. You know, this is our life. This is our. This, they called you the my, king of quarantine. <laughs> it's my, my, my. Um, it's my career. You know what I mean. So, they call me the king of quarantine. That's funny. Like I got the love. I got the love king pack too coming on the way real soon. We just. I just been getting a product right first, and you know, getting it all ready. To go so got those bricks on the way ladies and gentlemen yeah uh, everybody out there waiting to announce announcement to come soon um yeah it's 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 about we talking about the culture man and if you either you either you either following the culture or you are you dictating it you know what i'm saying are you the blueprint for it and i've been a blueprint for a lot since day one you know, before it was before it was the before podcast was cool and it, and it was everybody had one. You know what I mean? Like you know, it was the Raheem Devon show, um, and I didn't understand what we were creating then. You know, um, to like cash in on it. You know, but but it was it was fueled by passion. So um, my my heart was in the right place. You know what I'm saying? And and now um, I do have a podcast. It's coming back soon. I can't speak on that um, at all. But it's but we but but we coming back to that arena to do that. And this time, you know what I'm saying, now that I know what I know and the pitfalls and you know, uh, the highs and the lows, the plus and the minuses, I know how to do it and when at doing it, you know what I mean? Um Yeah. You know, I was the first guy to do to do to I was the first R and B soul singer to make mixtapes. You know what I mean? Like these are facts. Icon. You know Icon. what I mean? So like, like the yeah, so even so, it's and 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 it's crazy. I was just did an interview for overseas earlier, and it was just pointing out how like the mixtape formula is still the formula to this day. You don't know when people drop a project. You don't. They don't really even just say what it is anymore. You know what I mean? I mean, truth be telling, decade of a love king and the love reunion. Those were in my mind. Those were like mixtapes. Mixtapes. Like I like I approached them how I would approach a mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Um, I approached I approached this this album how I would approach making an album. More so, I was more critical, you know what I mean? Being ahead of an A and R and you know A and R in your own project, you got to be able to step outside of yourself and mm. think from a consumer standpoint, you know what I'm saying? And and think think what of what um, cause the track listing that 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 we have is not the original track listing of what I had in my mind. You know what I'm saying? But based on the outside ear that mattered to me that much, I had to humble myself and be like, all right, maybe I don't know it all. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is cool to put this right here, put that right there, and put that right there. And it, and it, and it, and in the end, it made it feel a little more nostalgic. Then, for sure, no, yeah. like. I'm glad you pointed that out. The the tracks are definitely in an order that flows and makes sense, and it's not disruptive, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't so think I people saying like in consideration. 
skipping I'm skipping through it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's talking about saying like the album, the album. I think people have favorite songs, but they're, but they're saying if you listen from beginning to end, like yeah, it's you know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna get you with this one, you know? Yeah. I'm always proud of you, friend. You be killing it. And like you're consistent, yet you continue to evolve. And it's like, how does he do this? How does he keep doing this album after album? Because I'm the GOAT. Period. And I <laughs> And I mean All right, that let's most get a little I, I mean that most humbly, but I just you know what I'm saying? Like I I I I I, I like I know that I know that I'm tapped into my gift and my formula and I do and I and I do it at the best of my ability, you know what I'm saying, at the highest frequency. Um I put my all into what I do, you know what I'm saying? And I and I, and I realize that I become over time I become a master of my craft, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um and it's still and it's still, you know, so it, but it's still work to be done like, you know, I I, I can only compare my mentality of, of how I approach my artistry to um to to like Michael Jordan's Last Dance. Like when I watch that when I watch that uh, documentary because people have been telling me for 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 a while yo check it during the quarantine like yo you check out my dad my dad was actually the one that got me to like really lock in on it and watch it right and um and so I just slow down and stop and just watch it. And when I watched it, it was like, it was so much that he said that um, I could relate to, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. so, but I base what I do based on the accolade. It's not fueled by money. Uh, I am competitive, you know what I mean? I compete with myself. I I, I listen to what's out there and, and you know what I mean? And, 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 and I'm, but I'm in, I'm in comp, I'm, I, at, at times I'm in competition with myself, you know what I mean? Um, Asking myself like, yeah. how how have I grown? You know, and I I'll, I'll go back and I was just on a I was on Clubhouse um, the other night and um, you know I, I do this I do this little function on Clubhouse called Sage and Slow Jams and um, okay Carl Thomas was in the room he kicked he came in and kicked it you know we did an impromptu interview and. Um, he allowed me to pick his brain. He picked my brain on a few things, and I learned so much, man. I learned so much from him, like the other night, just, 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 and how to approach my art even moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, he said some things that were like really profound. I'm, I'm not gonna repeat them though, because you know that's Clubhouse rules. Ah, uh, you had to be there. All right, I need to. I'm about to add you on Clubhouse right now. Hold up. <laughs> um, oh yeah, if you go, and, and you know what's crazy. People were like, "Yo, when are you gonna do this again?" And literally, while my literally while my room was going on, right? Look, lit, literally, while my room was cracking, right? I got an alert for Clubhouse that said, "Hey, your club has been accepted." Wow. Yeah. So, okay. so, so it's coming soon. Y'all check for me on that. Um, you know, on that app. You know, at Raheem Devon. Um on the clubhouse i know some people like what are, what are they talking about <laughs> but yeah it's the new it's the new thing you know what i'm saying and um and yeah and carl was dropping some jewels man he was just jewels you know and i say that to say this is like you know you can never um you can never keep getting better at what you do if you want the thing is you got to want to get better though yeah you know what i'm saying you can't saying? get you comfortable gotta, you can't get stuck yeah, you can't. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's too, it's um, especially now, you know what I mean, because anybody can be an artist now. Yeah. Like it's it's the market is the, the like the, the market is saturated. It's saturated. It's it's you you know why you know why you know why radio isn't like terrestrial radio. It still matters to me, but you know why it doesn't matter to um to, to some. Or, or you know, it's kind of like it's not it's not the thing thing anymore. It's way more artists than it is space. Mm. First thing, more artists than it way, is space. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 where do where do artists go? You know what I'm saying? You go, you know, you got SoundCloud, you got Spotify, you got, you know what I mean? Um, um. 
different platforms. You know, we it's so many of them, right? But you have these options, and it's just like you can kind of bypass now. Yeah, you respectfully can, you can. as a host and personality, I'm benefiting on the other side of it, right? I, you know, the story. I was in radio for years, never got a shot to have my own show, but I'm killing it on this Instagram thing. <laughs> And, it, and yeah, and your and what you say matters, you know what I'm saying. So you know, and with that, you know, of course, we all know that comes a huge, it's a huge responsibility with it, um, and that's something that I recognized early in my career that, you know, um, be who I am. I'm human, just like everybody else. I've done things I'm not proud of, like I mean, you know, I've done things I had to be forgiven for and and ask forgiveness for, like just like everybody else, but. Um, if we're going to talk about music and, and the message and the gift um, bestowed upon me, like it, it, it would behoove me to be, to, 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 to give it my all and, and to make it as honest and pure and beautiful as possible. And, and with, you know, in that frequency of love, because anything else I'm being a disservice, you know, to the universe and the creator, like, very, like, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, do the it, work. It's made, made me not so so anxious and pressed and well, why me or why didn't I why why don't I have the Grammy and all of that? Like it don't you know, um we're able to connect with the people, man. Like even yeah. even now in a world where, you know, it's it's six feet between us, eight feet between us, in a world where we all wear masks now and you know, leaving your house is like, or going to work because you need to work or whatever, whatever the case may be, to, whatever you need to do to feed your family, potentially, you could, you could potentially die from doing it. It changes the perspective on um, how you value whatever. I know for me it does so much. So, yeah. so my, my approach, my approach for music is like, I'm not here to play with them. I'm going to be, yeah, I got music and I'm gonna be a dog like when it <laughs> to, to the to, to what it is when we talk about this and this art form and whatever and I'm a, and a, and, a, and it's gonna be effortless because I love I love it you know what I'm saying I love it I love what I do and it, and it and it's connecting you know what I'm saying like I had the epiphany the other day that like yo like it never really dawned on me till to the middle of the pandemic after this album came out, to like, yo, you make songs that people have some of their most intimate, um, vulnerable moments to mm -hmm. that make babies, you know what I'm saying? Like, create life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Impactful. It's a huge responsibility to come with that. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, you know what I mean? It's a huge responsibility, whether you want it or not. Like, it is what it is. That's what, you know what I'm saying? Like, just those three things alone. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, perception is reality. For, for um, for, But the reality is the reality, too, and that's the reality of it, you know? Facts. All right, let's, while I got you for a couple more minutes... Let's get a little personal. When's the okay. last time you cried? When the last time I cried? Probably in the last... Probably like in the last three days. Really? Yeah. Can you yeah. share? Do you mind sharing? Um, I got... The, real talk, I feel like I could cry right now. Like, it's just that... Mm -hmm. that like, man, how can I... How can I explain it? It's the feeling of like the presence that you know, no matter what you go through, what you've been through, what you're going through, what other people are going through, the state of the world. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, a nervous, exciting feeling of knowing that like the world is still a beautiful place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's still like, like yeah, it's still a beautiful place. Like it's this is a it's a this is a real deep it's a real special time. That's why 
that's why the album is called What a Time to Be in Love. Because really, what I'm really saying is What a Time to Be Alive, for real, for real. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And it feels, if, 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 feel, if, feel, if, 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 it feels, um, Yeah, it feels for me. It feels magical because it, it because it's like, man, anything can happen at any given time. It's always been like that for us, you know what I'm saying? Since we've been on this planet, for everybody, right? Um, if you're still living and breathing, it can be whatever at any time. It's really just about how you spend that time and where you direct that energy. You know what right. I'm saying? So like, it's more like what a time to be in love with being alive. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, like originally the album, the, I wanted to name the album What a Time to to Be Alive, but I didn't do it because somebody already did it. And then, you know what I mean? Um, and so then I was like, man, what a time to be in love. And then when I really thought about it, I was like, man, that's more nostalgic. Yeah. And because love, like, for some, for somebody on a, on a, on, for somebody that's on the on the surface or that may be shallow, um, maybe shallow isn't. Yeah, I guess yeah. Like if you thinking, like, if you thinking, if you thinking on a three D level, then 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 you're gonna then they're gonna be like, oh, what a what time for your love? Like, all right, you finna get it in. And whoa, whoa, whoa. But if you thinking on a five D level, then you like, oh yeah. This is the time, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the first, first greatest love that, that exists is the love like that that we that we that you have for yourself and the love that you get, you know, that you receive from the universe or talk, you know, not to yeah. get too deep with, you know, whether you whether you're talking to Allah, G, you know, God, Muslim, Christianity, whatever faith you're talking. Um, yeah, that's the the purest form, man. You know, what I mean, I just try to operate in that. I I try to I try to just remind myself constantly to operate in that frequency at all costs. For real. So like the the blessing to to still be here that we were spared. You know, like yeah, yeah. Dude, so despite things, so all the chaos and turmoil that's happened this year, we're still here enjoying each other. Everybody who's watching this. You had the opportunity to watch this. Like that is the reason to celebrate. But so I hear you. Here, still, but we still here because we still here to serve a purpose. That's to bring it all full circle. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you when you do when you when you and that's so that's where the that's where the that's where the you know what I'm saying crying in the last three days or feel when you feel that it's a kind of unspeakable joy because you tapped into like understanding like oh, okay. Wow, I'm really here for a purpose. Like I have a purpose in this big, you know, giant universe. You know what I'm saying? Not not yet alone this planet. Like just me, like with this, I'm the only one with this fingerprint. I, I got a, I got a purpose. Like for real? Yeah. I matter that much. You yeah. know what I'm here? Is it some people don't 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 see it? That's beautiful. <laughs> When was the last time you laughed so hard? You got the cramp in your stomach. You might have teared up a little bit. When was the last time you had one of those like deep belly laughs? Oh uh, man, you see, you see, you making the joints. You, you making the kids come. <laughs> oh, we want to see this side of you, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. When you understand the purpose, it's a wrap. Oh, friend. That's beautiful, man. You're such a beautiful soul, for real. It's an honor to have this opportunity to share with you. I'm sure everybody watching it, like, this is a real moment, y'all. Like, this is real artistry. He is so in his purpose. He's so connected that he's, like, sharing this with us. That's fire. That's dope. Yeah, so that's, 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 you know. So I guess you got your answer because it's happening right now. <laughs> That's so special. I'm sorry I'm being awkward because I'm like, I don't know how to respond. But like, I feel honored that you felt comfortable enough to share that in this moment, you know? That's ah, so but beautiful. That's where you, you know, some people, some people, they, 
they lived their whole entire life and never find that moment. You know what I'm saying? Searching, searching for so, that everywhere. This joy that you have, yeah. people, man, come on, Absolutely. we can really go there if you want to go there. We be searching for it in all the wrong places. All the wrong places, all the wrong places, the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when you realize who you are and you and you really find your soul purpose, it's like, and what happens is people start to be, people start to be removed from the life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you remove yourself. You don't know why. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's preparing you for something that's greater. Come on now. Tapped in. You tapped in for real. Like, you're not just saying that you tapped in for real. I'm happy for your awakening. Truth be told, I'm experiencing one. I think a lot of us have, if you're any any level of spirituality, I think this year was a reckoning and an uncover, a, uncovering of things. Um, I know I'm going through a personal awakening myself, definitely losing people, stepping away from people and things. Um, so I, I completely understand what you're saying. I promise I do. Um, and I'm trying not to like well up right now because I feel the I feel the vibe I feel the energy um, and I, I respect and I salute your vulnerability your leadership for showing us how to do that how to be authentic. Ashe. Ashe. <laughs> um, yeah, I was asking another question. I'm like, I don't even know how to follow up after this. Like, wait, am I tapping? Nah, go ahead. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Oh, um, but the next question, hopefully it'll still keep that joy up. I was asking, um, you know, what was the last time that you had like a deep belly laugh that you were able to share a moment with a friend, maybe on the phone or you saw your kids do something for the first time or when was the last time you had like a deep sort of belly laugh? I was at my mother's house about two hours ago with my, with my oldest son. <laughs> yeah. You know, like that's a like that's a you know what I'm saying it's the it's moments like that that make you know everything just hit different you know what I mean everything is different now so like yeah. you know yeah so just just you know but if you're a parent out there you know you work as hard as like I work to make sure you know your kids is good like yeah yeah for real for real um, what's your great, like we talking about purpose, what's your greatest wish for all the work that you do in the community, all the music you put out there, all the love you show to people that are in your direct, you know, contact to you? What do you, what do you want that dash between the year you were born and the year's time for you to transition? What do you want to be known for? I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm creating that legacy in real time, you know what I mean? Like I would like to do more film and television and stuff like that, um, but I think you know I'm still I'm still it's still been just like revealed to me, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so it's just like I, I feel like I'm I'm doing it, you know. We got the foundation, uh, got another movie that I'm part of that I actually have some speaking lines in, and I get to play a play a character. Um, you know, I just we did the Love dot com movie, which which came out not too long. You know, came out last year. Yeah, on um, Netflix. It did very well on Netflix. Um, this movie's coming out. It's called Available Wife. It was shot here in DC. Um, you know, so I'm proud to be part of something that's like out of the city. You know what I mean? Like I'm one of them. I'm even I, although I wasn't born here, but I'm like I'm like diehard DMV. Like I'm not leaving. Like yeah. when they gave. When they gave me that key to the city, like they, they effed up with that, in a good way. <laughs> like you know what I mean. I feel like it's still a lot of work to be done. I feel like I could still be utilized, um, you know, just even in tapping into and in, in tapping into, you know, new resources and stuff like that. So, um, hopefully, hopefully, be able to work more closely um, um, with you know our new president elect and that new cabinet. You know what I mean? Being as though we right here in the city, like, like you know, it's a it's a lot of um, it's a lot of people that are like you know, displaced and and you know, out of work right now, losing their jobs and you know what I mean and that type of thing. So, um, 
we have a lot of we have a lot of um homeless teenagers okay. in this you know what I'm saying in d c that nobody's you know about either you know um and I just know about that back before you know even covid hit um I remember, I remember one of the first scholarships we gave out, you know, on the South Side, um, textbook scholarships we gave out. The young lady was like, graduated, head of their class, and she was like, homeless most of that time. You know, um, and then and wasn't able to use the scholarship, ended up not being able to use the scholarship, but both of her parents ended up having, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and, um, yeah, it, it's 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 it was one of those things where you know definitely I feel like it's going to be some stuff that we're going to do that's going to be great that I'm going to be involved in from a community standpoint with the foundation. You know what I mean? Like music is just your like, heart is just so huge. It's some it's, I mean you know we here to be that's what we here to do though we here to be a service. Um, you know, in some form of fashion to the people. You know what I mean? So I just try to do my part, you know what I mean? Like, um, that's, 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 that's what we do, you know? For sure. Um, all right, fans, go ahead. Now's your chance to ask some questions. You can use the little question mark button and I will read them out loud. Um, okay. before we get to this, Raheem, is there anything you want to share? We got a question waiting. Yes. I just put out the hottest R&B soul album <laughs> of 2020. You know what I mean? And 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 definitely one to be reckoned with for the decade. Um, what a time to be in love. Um, great body of work. Check it out. It's on all digital platforms. Run the streams up on it crazy. Get your streams on. You know, whether you're using Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, Tidal, Amazon, whatever it is, the platform you use. You know, shout out to both of my ladies, Siri and, 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 and Alexa. <laughs> You know what I mean? You can holler at them as well. They cool. Ladies, they're cool. Don't trip. <laughs> lightly and say, Alexa, play Raheem Devon. What a time to be in love. Or, or say a catalog. I want to, I want to, can we share? Theory. <laughs> <laughs> yes, y'all. Run it up, run it up. I'm telling you, it's hit after hit on there. You can start from the beginning. And let that thing play through from the intro to outer limits. Let, let that, that thing play. Let, let that thing pump. Let that thing pump. <laughs> and it's not oh, for sure. 2 p.m. East Coast Standard Time, ladies and gentlemen. So Mr. Midnight Hours are approaching. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that was something else I wanted to say. I just got so much like I just want to keep like sharing the love and the praise for you. You are literally one of the hardest working people I've ever seen. Every, almost every night you are on live in the studio putting in music like you it's go hard not, for this so. it tripped me out when people say that though because it's not it's not it's not me working hard i just love that i just love I, that that's my I, I think i think that's become it's i realize that also it's my therapy mm. it's, you know what i'm saying like so some of my darkest times i be in there you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of my lit times. You know what I mean? Like I can, I, I, or I'll find my way there. You know what I mean? Like um, we we recently did. Uh, uh, I did have an opportunity to do a concert recently. Um, it was a drive-in concert in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, and uh, when we did the concert in Cincinnati, um, after the after the sh after the show, I went to the studio. And I just and I and and I was I, I like I was tired, you know what I'm saying? Like I was I was tired that night. But some was like, "Yo, you need to go to the studio." And when I and when that ran on my spirit, I know what that is. It's like so I so I went, and then like the dopest record came out. You know what I'm saying? And Ooh. I was black, went. You know what I mean? And I and I and I and I slept probably even better after. I went, matter of fact, I ended up like probably staying a day. Like, or I feel like I, yeah, I definitely missed my flight that morning. Like, you know what I mean? I was no good. But, um, 
But now it was it was worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like this, I, I enjoy what I do though. It makes it easy when you enjoy what you do. When you love what you do. It's you know because it, I don't feel that pressure anymore. Like you know what I'm saying? Before it was like you're doing it for you know you realize you're taking the wrong thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay, like you know what I mean? You can't. You know, sometimes we get caught up and people tell you you should have or you know. You're, you're, you know, being called the rated. That's it. It don't bother me no more. Like I know, you know, you know what I mean. So it's, it's um. So I, so when I'm in there, it's in there. I'm in there for purpose because them songs got purpose. Them songs gonna come out and they gonna do, you know, they gonna do just what this album did. You know. Yeah. yeah. For sure. All right, we about to take these questions from the floor. Um, thank you again for purchasing a badge. If you want to go ahead and show love, show gratitude. Um, for this exchange tonight, please feel free to do that. Uh, we got a question from Siobhan. She said, I don't have a question. I just want to let Ron know that I wish him nothing but the best. Shout out to you, Queen. Um, Hope.Camille Raheem wants to know, would you date someone older than you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe older you women said be, that way too enthusiastically. Older women be known, be, be known they want out of life. I've always, I've, I've often known, I've dated older women and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. They, 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 they the blame for, for some, for some of the, for some, for that spicy talk. <laughs> oh, no, no, y'all old heads turning around here. Oh, no, lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute like, to all the love queens. Young, at 20, old, at, 20, <laughs> at 2021, I dated a woman that was like twice my age, like 40 at 21, 22. Oh, when you were 20, okay. <laughs> yeah, at that age, like, yeah, that was like, yeah, that was different. Okay. That, is yeah. that where you get your maturity from? Do you feel like they helped you grow up a little bit? <laughs> um, yeah, that, but more so like my you know, my mother and my grandmother because they're two of the strongest women I know, you know, I, I know my mother's still living. My grandmother, you know, already ascended. So like, but, and that's, and that's the why, that's the thing of working. I think that's where the, mis where people kind of like, man, the hardest working, like, you know what I'm saying? But when you seen the things I've seen in my lifetime and experience in my lifetime, like you're gonna, yeah, it's good. You, so you, so you work, you know what I'm saying? You be, it's, it's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've been working yeah. since I was 14 years old. You know what I'm saying? Before all of this, but I know what hard work, I know what work is. I know you, you either gonna get it. It's only a couple of ways to get it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? When you, when, you, when, when you're, when you're black in America, it's only a couple of ways to get it. You know what I mean? You meaning yeah. you either going the right way or the wrong way choice is yours the consequences are yours you know what i mean so when i once i figured that out it was kind of like i run i would run to work like literally run to work <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying every day you move different yeah you yeah yeah you know um, well speaking of working hard angel wambui wants to know how do you find the time to restore yourself um now i mean i yeah i just you know, that's the probably the beauty of what happened. COVID, COVID hit, and I found, you know, myself. I found purpose. I found, um, uh, you know, meditation and how to just like be quiet and be, you know, and, and how to just be completely quiet. Like you know what I'm saying, and 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 breathing and the breathing exercise. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll save your life. And maybe somebody mm. else's. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the word like, right there. Yeah, it'll save your life. And maybe somebody else's. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been, a, you know, I've been at, like, because every day is going to be something. It's not, you know, it's not. Um, but it don't have to be something every day neither, though. It's really about your outlook on it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and how you choose to communicate with the person and the situation, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's that. You know, so I, so so I'm able to like control my energy, you know what I'm saying? At, better as a result, you know what I'm saying? 
I felt like I, yeah. I felt it today. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, and then but I but I but you 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 find ways to channel it and and, 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 and flip it. You know, either you either either you flip it or it's gonna flip you. You know what I mean? <laughs> we can only control our response to what happens. Yeah. A absolutely. A absolutely. Absolutely. Next question is from Regina Davis. Amo, she wants to know, when is the video for Mr. Midnight out? I want to know that, too. <laughs> um, it's actually, I think it might be done. They're just waiting for me to green light it. I want to look at it again and make sure there's nothing that that um that I'm missing. You know what I mean? But it's a lot it's a lot of content coming up. Don't worry, I I got you. I got you. I swear I do. Yes, yes. Uh next question is from Sean Ski Media. I hope I said that right. Um just wanna say stay beautiful and thank you for inspiring artists like myself and those who love and support you by the way the album is fire. Look, the people are loving it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Just tap in. It's all inside of you. Um, <laughs> it's up to you if you want to answer this question or not. <laughs> Bree okay. underscore Lash wants to know, are you going to have more kids and are you getting married? Um, I don't know. I can't really answer that. You know what I mean? Um, if, yeah, that's, I, that's, that's not my mindset. That's not what I'm thinking about right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it sounds good. You know what I mean? Kids are a lot, like, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, you know, there's no, I've spoken about being a father and the challenges and it, it, the, the huge it is for me, you know, in other interviews, you know what I mean? So, um, and I love, I love my kids. I love the children of my, of, of, of that, that, that carried those children um, for the nine months and all of that. Um, if I had, if I had to do over though, I would have done it with one woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that I, you know what I'm saying? That definitely, like, I tell my sons, you know what I'm saying? Or, let them know, you know, because it's a lot to govern yeah. and manage, you know what I mean? Especially when they get to the age they are now, you know, because they, because your kids need you, you know, you don't want to yeah. like, give them more, um, more love and attentiveness than the other one needs, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, but I mean, everything at the end of the day, um, uh, everything happened for a reason, you know what I'm saying? So, you just you take it as it comes and you man up and you handle your business. You know what I'm saying? You sound so grown, friend. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> we growing up. We elevating. It's, it's, you know? Yeah. It's the decade of the love king. It's a decade of elevating. For sure, for sure. Mimi Love 45 wants to know, was there ever a time you did not want to create music? Is there ever a time that what? That you did not want to create music. Um, I won't say it was ever a time I didn't want to create music. There was a time that I fell out of love with with every with 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 with, with the game and just like you know, and that was that was during that was from like during that two thousand and thirteen time. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't. I like. I know. I know. I know. Walking away from the label was a good move at that time. But you know, I left job, but I wasn't prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'd have been prepared for it, I didn't realize how much power I had and what I was sitting on. Walking away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and the equity of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but I mean. It's still building even now, so you know it's, it's the goal is you know I got some goals, things I want to accomplish before I'm a half a century. You know what I'm saying that related to this game and music and whatever and yo. Know, so it's like you know, but right but now right now I'm just gonna flood it like we're just gonna flood it. We're gonna flood it. We're gonna flood the game like 
with great music, great content, and 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 let it all just you know let it all just manifest. You know, that that sounds like something um, Kevin Ross said when we did our artist spotlight. I don't know how many months ago in like August, he was talking about when he walked away from his label to create his own. Um, he had to learn and recognize the power that you, the artist, actually bring to the table. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm I think proud he actually cited you for like inspiring him for that. I'm proud of him. I'm so proud of him because I it was it just it's a couple of them that's on my list that I just know if they just could get get away from the, get like they really realize what what they got and what they can do, like and 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 not, and not to say that they're not doing it, you know what I'm saying? But just the label, I know what it's like to be on a label and have people within the label be fighting for you and know who you are, but, but the right people, you know, the right gatekeeper or, the, or, you know, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, it takes for sometimes take for that president or, you know, you know what I'm saying? The right person to say, Hey, it's all hands on deck. And then everybody like pay attention. You know what I mean? But if that's not happening, um, then you're in constant tug of war with, with multiple people in the building. I, all kind of things, it, man. It's, it, I was banned. I was banned from um, Five Fifty, of uh, the old job building, like from Germany. Why? Okay, I, what? I don't even want to get into. It, but I was banned. Oh, I was banned. God, Ryan. <laughs> like, like, and if I go to the new one, it still might be in the system. I don't know. And um, I do. I I do all kind of things. Like, go over, go around to different people's offices. Tape my my uh, eight by tens. You know, can't take your ass nowhere. <laughs> but just, you know, just it's you know I'm I'm like you know I'm what what, she, what did what did Badu say? I'm sensitive about it. Oh, but but that's I'm telling you when I say I love what you represent like you're going to be heard period <laughs> you're going to see me you're going to hear me you're going to know my name you're going to get this music I can't be mad at that <laughs> you know what though if you but if you're dope and you and if you're dope and somebody you stand, said TLC moves <laughs> everybody deserves to be heard like everybody deserves their thing everybody deserves their moment in the sun man you know what I'm saying yeah. and that's the that's the part that that um that some people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have everybody deserves a run, a shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And an an acknowledgement. You know what I mean? For sure. That's Speaking of acknowledgement, let me go ahead and give a shout out to Chio from Rough Ends for tapping in. He bought a badge. I see you, King. Uh, we had Pleasure P stop in tonight. You know what I mean? You be bringing the star power. I see it. <laughs> uh, that's what's up. Raheem, I sincerely appreciate you. You gave me more than an hour. So I always I appreciate you. I appreciate your friendship, your loyalty. Yeah. We've been at this for a long time. One of my um, longtime supporters commented and was like, I love how y'all are like always a part of each other's career. So I definitely wanted to take this second to appreciate you and share that publicly that you – We've been at this a long time. You've helped me out of some situations I couldn't get on the red carpet. You made it happen. <laughs> so um, you don't I sincerely know, man. appreciate you for no, always showing up. Hey, look what they what they say was 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 understood. Don't even need to be talked about. What's overstood is it? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what we do. And, and you know, if we can't, if we can't. You know, how you expect to fly if you can't? You know, jump off the cliff, man. For sure, man. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody who tuned in. Thank you to everybody who shared this. I still see y'all buying badges, Miss Tiffany Gill. Thank you so much, Queen. Um, I appreciate this. Please share the replay. Raheem was so raw, so intimate with us. Um, definitely share this with his fans, his supporters. Um, he dropped gems for us. Don't be stingy. Share the wealth. And tune in next week. We've got Corinne Hawthorne. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And definitely run up the streams. What a time to be alive out now. 
Um, it's available on all streaming platforms. We're trying to see this go number one. I need this to be on a Grammy ballot like, next year, all right? So make sure you help support him in that way. Um, and one more time, thank you again, Raheem, for coming on here and sharing this time with us. Love, I appreciate it. Anytime, you know what it is. Again, for everybody out there, if you've been living under a rock, the brand new album is out, album number eight, What a Time to Be in Love. Hit it up on all streaming platforms. Video on the way, Mr. Midnight. We got uh, Marvin Stay in the Can, too. And um, keep your eyes and ears peeled and your notifications for those on for the online winter concert series coming to you real live, real soon. Uh, until then, love life and continue to vibrate higher. We don't get through this, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, elevate, elevate, elevate. Peace. Peace.